Good morning, everyone. Today, I'll be sharing strategies to prepare yourself for the GC A-Level Chemistry Syllabus 9729. Let us begin with the format of the paper. There will be a total of four papers. Paper 1, MCQ, consisting of 30 marks. The duration of the paper is one hour and it takes up 15% of the entire paper. Paper 2, structured. All questions are compulsory in this paper. The total marks allocated will be 75 marks with a duration of two hours. Percentage of paper is 30%. Paper 3, free response question. When candidates are required to choose either or in section B, there will be a total of 80 marks. Duration of the paper is two hours. Percentage, 35%. Paper 4 is a practical paper, total marks 55 marks, duration 2 hours 30 minutes with a percentage of 20%. Now, how can we prepare ourselves better for the GC A-level chemistry? Chemistry is a very difficult subject to score. So students who are taking up this paper must prepare themselves well for this paper in order to score their desired grade. First of all, we understand that organic chemistry is very important in the syllabus. More than half the questions are allocated for organic chemistry. Now, to do well for organic chemistry, it's important for us to design our own summary flowchart so that we are very familiar with all the reagents and conditions in the preparations and reactions. For example, alkanes. There are some reactions related to alkanes like the reduction of alkene to form alkane, complete and incomplete combustion, and most importantly, free radical substitution. Okay? Do prepare ourselves with other flowcharts and connect the organic chemicals together. For example, how can we make ester starting from alkenes? Alkenes can be converted to alcohol. Alcohol can be oxidized to carboxylic acid. And the alcohol and the carboxylic acid can react to form ester in the condensation reaction. So students, should be very familiar with the synthesis because the questions will require candidates to connect or link the reagents, conditions, and reactions together. It will be most likely a synthesis question where students will need to list the reactants and conditions from one reactant to the product. Students are also required to be very familiar with mechanism not just remembering how it works and understanding how mechanism works. For example, the arrow showing the flow of electron should always be from the negative to the positive. It is always from the nucleophile to the electrophile. Distinguish between half arrow and full arrow. And how does resonance structure works, for example. It's also very important to remember all the definitions and equations for this syllabus. This is just a snapshot of some of the work from different sources. It will be better for students to create their own list so that when they do it, it's easier for them to remember. All these will be tested in the A-level. Definitions will definitely be tested and there will be quite a number of calculation questions, for example, in the topic of ionic equilibrium. So my final advice for all candidates will be practice, practice, and practice. Please be very familiar with the format of the A-level questions and give yourself time practice so that you are able to complete the paper within the given time. It can be stressful,
but given time, I'm sure you will gain competence and confidence. So do try all the A-level questions from 2014 to 2023 and the prelim papers with at least 10 complete sets. Focus on big topics which award the most mark, for example, chemistry, organic chemistry, which covers more than half the entire paper. Do pay attention to nitrogen compounds, alcohol, carboxylic acid, especially because they test very important concepts. For example, uh, why different types of nitrogen compounds have different basicity. They may ask you to compare between phenylamine, amine, and amide. For carboxylic acid, they may test you about how different types of carboxylic acid are acidic. Okay, Electrochemistry, do pay attention to that. Transition metals, kinetics, and periodic table. You must memorize all important equations and observations. They will be tested. So, for practical, revise all the school-given practical exercises. I'm sure your school has given you sufficient practices for you to practice your practical skills and do be familiar with the different types of questions that will come out, the sources of error, the analytical thinking questions. That will be more important than doing the practical, actually. Revise past year A-level and school prelim papers if you have access to them. Uh, they are... For A-level, it is not so yet, okay? And even if they are, there are no model answer. But for the school prelim paper, they are available online for you to buy. You can focus on titration, energetics, kinetics, QA, organic planning. There'll be a total of four questions and the planning question is embedded in one of them, okay? Very likely, titration, QA, organic will be tested. Energetics or kinetics could be tested. Okay, that's all for my briefing. Wish you all the best for your preparation and good luck to you.